you know, you got to be realistic about the problem that we're facing. You know, a lot of people are looking for an easy solution to get them out of this mess that we're in when the reality is consciousness has to be greater than the consciousness that created the problem in the first place. And I look at the world today and all these things taking place. It's totally insane. And people are reacting to that insanity. So this is a warning for all of you out there watching. The future is going to provide a lot more challenges and this free flow of information that we've been having over the web will come to an end at some point in the future when they switch us on the internet too and the amount of free speech that we have been experiencing so far is cut off, done, over with, reached its time limit, its expiration date. What are you going to do then? And so we're all in different places geographically in the United States and we're all going to be facing our own unique challenges when it comes to getting food, water, shelter, fuel, and other things, and finding community people of like minds. But you cannot give in to the fear of the psychological warfare. And there's a reason they admit what they're doing. All the surveillance apparatus, all the databases, the collection of DNA, all these different types of uh, surveillance that they're using in the skies, flying cameras, even shouting CCTV cameras in the UK. It's all there to intimidate you. Here in Portland, we had black helicopters visit our area, the downtown area in particular, on Monday night about a week and a half ago. Live rope insertion, which is troops, military troops, literally jumping on buildings. They're given the permission by Mayor Tom Potter to use live fire and other things, including explosives and flashbangs. It's all psychological warfare for people to fear the government. And the other thing that I want to warn you about is you got to stay calm. you got to keep a cool, level-headed uh, mentality because they want uprising. They want violence. They want people to react this way, to get guns and get ready to fight the government, to think that that's the only way that we're going to get out of this mess. The problem that we're facing today is far larger than any political um, uh, problem or dilemma or George W. Bush. You know, we could see these same type of corrupt systems in China where the power and the wealth is being moved to right now, the next military superpower. It's going to be 30 million more men than women by the year 20, uh, 20, 30 million more men than women. And that's a large number. See, so look at the larger scheme of things, and it's bigger than what's going on in U.S. politics and people trying to impeach George W. Bush, which won't really happen. Whatever happens in the elections, in my opinion, is irrelevant because whoever wins, we lose. In the greater scheme of things, America is already on sale at a discount rate. We're seeing the Japanese come in and buy up grain silos. Our way of life is changing. You need to find the others now that think like you and also want to survive and know what the real problems are. We all want to reach out. We all want to talk to people. I do. I talk all the time off the set. And sometimes you got to step back and just breathe. Let them live in their reality. Let them utilize their free will. Let them view the world as they choose to view the world. Because we can't change everybody's mind. But the reality is someone cannot unhear something once they've heard it. All we're doing is planting seeds. Truth doesn't need a lie or propaganda to prop it up. Only um, the disinformation out there, um, the warp spins uh, on, on what's going on in the Middle East. All that stuff needs propaganda to keep it going. Saying the same thing over and over and over and expecting that we believe it. The Fox News motto, I believe, and many other networks. Now, we have to look a little closer. We have to examine what's going on in our own communities. And alternative communications is at the front line when it comes to keeping this information flowing. I don't know what that's going to be. I don't know how it's going to manifest, but I know that by 2012, um, communications are going digital, both uh, radio and television transmission, and they're going to seize the analog um, waves at that time for possible military application from the information that I've read. So how we're going to uh, maintain this information, the radio casts, I don't know. But we're going to have to start brainstorming, maybe go back to the printing press, a lot of word of mouth. Now's the time to make those preparations and do it without fear of what you think the government's going to do to you. I already know about the empty coffin sitting in the state of Georgia right now, half a million to a million, and all the martial law preparations and doomsday preparations and the doomsday seed vault. It goes on and on and on. You can't let that stop your spirit from doing what it's supposed to do right now in this time. I think we're all here for a reason, don't you? Don't you think it's kind of really eerie that we're aware of this information? We're sharing it. It doesn't seem very accepted in the mainstream, but we're still aware of it and aware that there are others just like us feeling this way, proving my point that we are not alone. 
and the darkest night when you feel all alone and the lights go out and you're in the danger zone. There are other people out there going through the exact same thing. Praying for people like you that we make it through this and see a better day ahead. And that's what I want to be able to do, to see the light, to see where we really can make a change and focus on that with all of my energy. But again, there's a lot of people out there trying to co-opt the environmental movement, the left and the right, and spin them in these directions to where all they're doing is fighting one another. And I saw a lot of that at the DNC, and that's not going to get us out of this mess.